The Southern District Health Board is urging people of Otago and Southland uh, not to head off to the hospital unless you actually really need to. If you've got a minor cough or cold, a minor illness, a minor injury, maybe you would be better heading off to your local doctor, to an emergency doctor or phoning a helpline. In fact, let's see exactly what they've said. Nigel Miller, who is a Southern District Health Board Chief Medical Officer, has said this. He says, people presenting with minor injuries or illnesses have to wait longer than they would, uh, than we would like, as staff will naturally focus on the care of people with more pressing problems. We encourage people to make an appointment with their family doctor or urgent doctors for minor injuries and illnesses or call the health line, which is 0800 611 116 for free health advice 24 hours a day uh, and to reserve our emergency departments for emergencies only. So Dean, people are turning up to the emergency room with coughs and colds yep. uh, and they're being told, yes, you're sick but the person over here who has their leg broken in three places is going to get priority. It's a long wait, and I think that's probably fair enough. Uh, uh, well, absolutely. I mean, you'd hope that the um, medical specialists would be giving pe people priority, breaking broken legs, heart attacks, those sorts of things. But I, I think there's a, there's a wider issue that we just discussed just, just earlier. I mean, people choose to go to the hospital uh, for two reasons, I think. One is that they, get, uh, they think they're going to get better care, and the other one is... Um, Emergency doctors, going to the emergency doctors isn't all that uh, cheap these days. Yeah, so, so what we don't have within the conversation so far is why are they going to the hospital? Yeah. We know they are going to the hospital, but yeah. the question is why. And what you're intimating, what I agree with you in, is actually is I, they're probably going there because of cost. I mean, forget even the emergency doctor. If it's 2 o'clock on a Friday afternoon, it might still cost 40 or 50 bucks to go to your doctor. Yeah. It's free to go to the hospital. So yeah. that hasn't been addressed in this. What's been addressed is what the problem is. Yeah. What hasn't been addressed is why is that problem there? And I think it probably comes down to financial. Uh, absolutely. I mean... When my children were little, they're 33 and 30 now, um, the doctor that we used to use, uh, you, could, you could ring the, the, uh, the doctor's surgery and there'd be someone on emergency duty and they would come. So you'd, you'd pay a fee, but I mean it wasn't out of the way fee. But then they all decided they would fund the emergency doctors because, I mean, they were having problems, I suppose, with um, getting people to staff them, uh, staff the, the surgeries after hours, and they wound down their Saturday mornings, surgeries, that sort of thing. Um, but then the emergency, the emergency doctors, because um, it's a completely different setup, they just started charging a lot of money. So I, I can see people, uh, unless you're on a good income or B got insurance, then you're going to have trouble paying some of those bills. So this becomes a much broader question of the health system, not just, you know, do we need to make our hospitals bigger or, or be able to provide for more people? Mm. It goes beyond that as to as to do we need to make either we need to fund these people who can't afford to go to the doctor yeah. so they can go to the doctor yeah. or do we need to make doctors cheaper? You know, how does that work? So uh, look, I think this is the beginning of this conversation. Yep. I think the problem has been identified and the problem is uh, having emergency rooms full of people who shouldn't necessarily be there. Yeah. But now we have the conversation as to how we make them uh, less full yep. rather than just saying don't go. We need the next part of the conversation now. Yep. And the next part of the conversation, I mean, you can't have people just being sick Monday to Fridays. I mean, <laughs> and, 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 the emergent, and the other thing about this, the emergency doctors close, closes down. It used to go right 24 hours over the weekend. It closes down at some quite early hour. So, I mean, and that's people having heart attacks in the middle of the night. Well, that's you get the ambulance, you go there. But, but other kids being sick, you know, you just don't know that whether it's serious or not. You know, so you've got, you've got no choice but to go to the ED department. And then you've got to sit there and wonder if your kid's going to die or not.